Well, hey guys, this is Ruth Loves, and today I'm going to show you how to make your very own stuffy. She's so cute. <laughs> it may not look like this, but it is quite easy. I need to get a chair. So anywho, these are the materials that you're going to need. You will need some yarn of the colors of your animal or your choice. An old ripped up pillowcase that your dog chewed up or you just don't use. Some buttons. A hot glue gun. Hot glue gun sticks. Pom-poms. Not for a bird if your animal has a nose. Like this rabbit. Felt scissors and scissors. It's because felt scissors are only used for felt. A needle. Markers, paint, or anything you can use to color, other than pencil, crayons, and crayons. A marker. Pencils can't show up on fleece. Tape. And that's basically it. First, what you do is you take out your big pillowcase and your handy-dandy marker. And you draw how big you want the head to be. If you change your mind, you can always change your mind. Now that you've got the thing all drawn out, you can cut it out using these. Make sure you ask an adult to help you when you're using the scissors. They can be sharp and pokey. Did it close on me? Oh, great. Now that you've got the thing cut out, it's a pillowcase. So you technically have three, two things cut out. Plus they're the exact same size and they're perfect. Now, here's a step for you. Get the needle. That's going to help help you with the needle again. And your thread. And this is the tricky part. Again, you might have to ask an adult to help you. You take the thread and you put it through the little hole in the needle. This can take some time. When you finally have it through, you have to pull the thread like this, kind of like a necklace. Now when you get to the end, you can ask an adult to help you tie it out there. Now that I've got my hole at the end, if you guys can see that here, it's quite small. There. <laughs> what you're going to do is you're going to line these two pieces of felt until they are perfectly aligned. This can take you some time. Ah, oh, there we go. Now what you do is you get your first stitch in. 
How exciting! You take the needle and you poke it right through here. I'm going to teach you guys the up and down stitch. And you pull it until your knot is right there. Now you flip it over again and you see this right next to here? To an even little spacing you poke this through and you do that again. And there, you've got your first stitch in. Now you're just going to continue that for the entire thing. Time lapse time! Now, what you want to do is you want to leave a, leave a space within all of your stitches. You want to leave a space so that you can open it. Now we're going to set that aside. And we're going to cut this big chunk out of our pillow. Pillowcase. We're going to slice it into tiny little strips. Now that you've got a whole bunch of these things, what we're going to do is we're going to take this thing back, we're going to open it up and we're going to stuff some of it in. Or all of it. I normally like to stuff all of it in. Because I don't like to go crazy man with the fluff. Now sew back on the thing. Oh, I spilled. <laughs> there. Now that we have stitched this circle, what we're going to do is we're going to cut off this little dangling piece. And don't make the same mistake that I did. Use your normal scissors to cut that off. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take some tape. We're going to strip on a piece. We're going to attach it to this little dangling piece. Just like that. I've got this fluffy circle. What are we going to do with this? Well, now we're going to paint it the color that we want. Now we have our paint set and ready to go. finished result. All we have to do is wait for it to dry. So now, let's talk about the background. Yeah. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to get all these curtains here. We've got our background. <laughs> There we go. Anyhow, the thingy is dry. So now, we're gonna do some stuff on it. Number one, take your buttons and your marker and color. 
the buttons. No, it's the wrong way, Ruth. <laughs> Make sure you color it when it's flat. Flat is a pancake. Oh, I've got wet hands. <laughs> now, ta -da! There, two buttons. Don't need sleeves up for this craft. Now, we've got two buttons. Now, plug in your hot gluey gun. And then take your hot gluey sticks. Open. Then take another, take a hot glue gun. Take a hot glue stick and load the hot glue gun with said hot glue stick. So much hot glues. And plug in the hot glue gun. Can you hear me? Yeah? Okay, good. There. Well, your hot glue gun is heating up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You can, mine's going to be a bird, mine's going to be a penguin, so I am going to draw out a beak. But what you guys can do, as you can get a pom-pom ready, if your animal that you're making has it. <laughs> As a nose. <laughs> that is. Sorry. <laughs> to go lock him up. Trick. <laughs> now I'll take you. Now do a little bit of magic. Magic. Let's do something. Three, two, one. Magic! It's colored in now. Is our hot glue gun ready? It isn't yet. It's almost ready though. Oh, it actually is. That's great. Perfect timing, guys. One will go there. Now glue on the buttons. One more go there. Perfect! Just to give you a look at the other one that I made. <laughs> See, this is what the pom-pom's for. He's kind of cute. I named him Lulu. Now let's glue on the beak. It's perfect! Look how cute he looks! Now that we've made that, we are going to draw out a line for the body. Just like a good old fashioned outline. There we go. There we go. Now 
There we go. And boom, it's colored. Isn't that a neat trick? And lock the old scissorinos. And now, let's cut out the part. Now we've got this piece and the identical. Hmm. Didn't color the other side. Weird. Guess I'm gonna have to paint it myself. Okay, there. Now that we've painted this side. We're going to sew them on with the penguin and together. So you're gonna flip them over. You're gonna flip these over. Put them together. Get my needle all ready. Eh. Yeah. So, away. And there we go, the old stitched and stuffed trick. Now, what we're going to do next is make the flippy floppies. By flippy floppies, I mean the legs. And I'm going to make some little feet here. Don't mind me. There. Now, I'm gonna color them in. Then we're gonna cut them out. There we go. There. Now I've got two little feet. Now, we've done the feet. What should we do next, you ask? The flippers, of course. I'm gonna make them the white flippers. Now, cut. them out. There we go. There we go. And then we're going to stitch those on. And then we're done. Now, let's go to the outro. So everybody, if you like this video, be sure to leave a like, 
because then I know that you like the video. <laughs> it also helps me out with my channel and like it as much as you do. Also, be sure to subscribe because it really does help me out. And soon, we're actually going to be selling some merch. So, like, yay! Going to be doing RuthLoves.com for the store. <laughs> it's probably not going to be a thing yet. So, pray. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was helpful to you if you want to make a great gift for your parents. That's exactly what I did with a little penguin here. <laughs> they also look absolutely adorable. So, like, can't go wrong with that. These are both really simple to make. You can try them at home. And, well, like, yeah. I will see you next video. And next video is going to be quite soon because we're going to shoot out a blast of videos. Ruth Love is going to go crazy. 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 Uh, okay, you get the idea. We're going crazy. Hope you all are really excited about that. As much as I am. Um, why are we spinning? Anywho, we'll see you next time.